What's up guys, today we're going to be taking a look at our wholesale analysis tool and how you can do wholesale analysis on supplier files directly in Google Sheets. So this tool works directly in Google Sheets through our Google add-on. If you've previously used one of our Google add-on tools, then you are set, you're good to go. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, you're going to need to click the link in the description below. This link will take you to a video tutorial and as soon as you have the add-on set up, you are ready to use this tool. So once you have the Google add-on set up, you're going to want to open a brand new spreadsheet and come up to the extensions tab and go down to data spark and select wholesale analyzer. And this will open up the sidebar. It's going to say this tool requires the wholesale analyzer spreadsheet. Click here to make a copy of it. So we're going to go ahead and click here and click make a copy. And so now I have the wholesale analysis tool on a brand new spreadsheet. So this was the original one. It opens a new one and I can title this. Maybe we'll say I want to call this wholesale supplier one January, something like that, just to keep track of, of what I'm doing tells me that I'm going to need to set up um, the Google add-on to use this tool. I've already done that. So I just need to come over to the wholesale analyzer tab. I recommend going to a 50% view just to help kind of get a better idea of what you're looking at. But this is what the tool looks like. Um, over here we have our inputs. We have our fees and fulfillment costs. This is where we're going to be able to see Walmart data. Um, and then these are going to be all of our calculations like net profit, our ROI, profit margin, estimated sales, etc. So just to get started, let's go ahead and put some inputs in here. It shows us that our mandatory inputs are going to be UPC codes and sourcing costs. So if I just go to my supplier file, I'm going to want my UPC codes and my sourcing costs. And I'm going to copy those. So now that I have those copied, I come back to my Google Sheet. I select the cell where I want to paste it and I go to paste special and values only. I like to do this because it just helps me keep the general formatting of the sheet. Other things I'm able to include are product titles, retail price. So if I come back to the supplier file, I can select some titles and the retail prices right here. Copy those, come back to the Google sheet, paste special values only. Let's say I have other things that I really want to include from my sheet. If we look here, I want to include who the manufacturer is, who the brand is. I can go ahead and select those and copy them and then come over to Google Sheets and there's this little plus in the top gray area. If I click on that plus icon, it will extend other fields for reference and I can paste values only and I can come back and reference these as I'm doing my analysis. If I don't want to see them, I can just shrink that back down. This just provides a little bit of extra flexibility if there are certain things that you want to include for reference on your wholesale analysis sheet. And the last input that it's asking for are fulfillment inputs. So weight, height, length, width. These are going to be used to calculate our prep cost and what our WFS cost is going to be. So if we go back to our supplier file, we can go over to weight, width, height, length and copy those. Select the cell, pay special values only. And now that's already calculated what our WFS cost is going to be per unit. Other things we're able to do, let's say we have a marketing cost. I'm able to put in maybe 10 cents an item I'm gonna spend on marketing. So that automatically includes a marketing cost in my calculations. Um, we could include other costs here and that will fill this entire column. Let's say I'm really tight with my supplier, they give me a 15% discount on their entire catalog. Then we're able to automatically include that discount into our calculations as well. To calculate our prep costs, it's based on a per pound basis. So maybe we've got our prep costs really low and it only costs us 30 cents a pound. Now we automatically have our prep costs calculated in this column here. So once you have your inputs and your preferences set, you're going to want to come up to extensions, data spark and wholesale analyzer. It's going to open that sidebar again and all you're going to need to do is click analyze products. Once you click analyze products, it's going to automatically populate this spreadsheet with Walmart data. And now for each individual product, you're able to see what the Walmart fee is going to be, the product sales estimates, how many reviews it has, how many sellers are in the buy box for that product, how often Walmart is winning that buy box, and the 30 and 90 day average price for each individual product. And so now that we have all this data and all of our inputs, we're going to be able to calculate the net profit, the ROI, 
and the profit margin for each individual product. If any of these rows are left blank, that is because we don't have a UPC match for this specific product in our database. And there's a good chance that the product isn't already on Walmart or it's not doing well enough for us to have any data on it in our database. So to show you how we're getting this net profit calculation, let's go ahead and take a look at this product here in row 19. This is telling us that we're gonna be making $6.70 each time we sell one of these units. Right now, this is being calculated with the Walmart 30-day average price. So if we look here, it's telling us that the 30-day average price for this product in Walmart is $15.12. To calculate this net profit, we're taking this $15.12 and we are subtracting what the Walmart fee is, what our WFS cost for fulfillment is going to be, what our prep cost is going to be, any of our marketing or other costs are going to be included in that, our supplier discount is going to be included in there, and then finally our sourcing cost is going to be included in that as well. But let's say we notice there's a big difference in our 30-day average price and our 90 day average price. What we're able to do is come up to the select Walmart price or retail price option and double click here and select Walmart price 90 day average. And now our net profit is being calculated with the 90 day average price instead of the 30 day average price. And now we're able to tell that this might not be the most profitable thing to be selling right now. Other things we're able to do are calculate this with our retail price. This now means that all of our net profit calculations are using the retail price that we've included in this input column here instead of the 30 or 90 day Walmart price. Another thing you're able to do is decide what fulfillment method you would like to use when calculating net profit ROI or profit margin. What I'm able to do is come up here and estimate that it's gonna cost me about a dollar a pound for my own fulfillment. I can then come over to select fulfillment method, double click on the WFS and choose FBM. And now all these calculations are being done with my FBM costs rather than a WFS cost. I'm also able to just exclude fulfillment costs for whatever reason, or I can always go back and look at the WFS cost to compare. One of the last things you can do with this tool is see what your estimated sales are going to be depending on how often you believe you're gonna win the buy box. I'm able to see that if I win the buy box 100% of the time, I'm going to be selling about $426 of this product a month. And of that $426, I'm going to be netting $21.50. But let's say I'm doing some analysis on this product and I see that there's some competition in the buy box. There are three other sellers in the buy box. Walmart is not one of them. So maybe I'm guessing I'm going to win the buy box about 50% of the time. As soon as I put in that 50%, it's going to recalculate these columns to show me exactly what my sales and what my net profit is going to be over the next 30 days if I win the buy box that at 50% of the time. We hope that this tool will help the Walmart side of your e-commerce business grow. Thank you guys so much and happy selling.